There's one thing I hate. All the noise, 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 noise. Christmas is a celebration, but more than that, it seems to have become a celebration of celebration. Even those of us who draw no direct connection to that ancient family who hid the light of the world from the thundering legions of Herod, still partake in the cozy, warm celebration of the hearth that the cold ironically drives us to. Most of the stories surrounding this holiday revolve around family, friendship, generosity, things that matter most to us as people. But there is another recurring element. There is often a character who is not only opposed to the celebration of Christmas, but seems to detest celebration in general. And because Christmas is celebrated with such fervor, their disdain becomes unmistakable. Not only do they try to spoil the festivities, but they act in direct opposition to the core values that are being celebrated. Humbug. <laughs> You're worth more dead than alive. One of the most memorable of these figures is the Grinch, a creature who goes to great lengths to keep Christmas from disturbing his peace. Are these simply exaggerated caricatures? Cute and simplistic in order to make an overly sentimental point? Or are they something more? Is there a prevalent spirit of animosity towards celebration? If so, where does it come from and how do we eradicate it? Many, many centuries ago, an anonymous poet addressed this question in the epic story of Beowulf. Then Hrothgar, taking the throne, led the Danes to such glory that comrades and kinsmen swore by his sword, and young men swelled his armies. And he thought of greatness and resolved to build a hall that would hold his mighty band and reach higher toward heaven than anything that had ever been known to the sons of men. A powerful monster living down in the darkness growled in pain, impatient as day after day the music rang loud in that hall, the harp's rejoicing call and the poet's clear songs sung of the ancient beginnings of us all. So Hrothgar's men lived happy in his hall till the monster stirred that demon, that fiend Grendel, who haunted the moors. The violent scene that follows leaves the banquet hall deserted. Night after night, Grendel prowls in search of blood, and as quickly as they began, the harps rejoicing and the poet's clear songs cease, leaving cold and desolate what once was warm and brimming with life. Hrothgar is left defeated, and his kingdom is plagued by fear of what might happen if they dare rejoice. The poet is very clear about Grendel's lineage, conceived by monsters born of Cain. Cain, of course, being the elder son of Adam and Eve, who killed his brother out of spite. I wonder if there is a thread of meaning between Cain and Grendel, parallel to their bloodline, something that explains why legend would have Cain spawning such terrible offspring. A key element of the Cain and Abel story is the jealousy of Cain after his offering is rejected by God while his brother Abel's offering is accepted. Perhaps the demon Grendel, cursed by God, is fueled by a similar jealousy. One that says, because I am incapable of celebration, everyone else will be too. I admit, I have felt that urge in my own heart to cast doubt upon happiness that I don't understand, or to demand that someone enjoy their life, but with my opinions ringing in their ears. Obviously, some forms of celebration are unhealthy and worthy of debate, but we all know of somebody who errs on the side of putting out fires, even the fire of the hearth. It takes a hero to defeat Grendel. Beowulf, the greatest of warriors, loves the light deeply enough to fight for it and bring it back to Hrothgar's hall. The Grinch, on the other hand, has a change of heart when he sees that his efforts to spoil Christmas seem to have no effect on the citizens of Whoville. They still sing a clear song, literally standing around an immaterial light that ascends into heaven with their voices. 
This Christmas, I'm celebrating the humility of God in becoming a child in order to save the world through his life, death, and resurrection. I'm celebrating the warmth of my family as a reflection of that holy family. I'm celebrating the gift of love and the love of gifts. But I'm not gonna tell you what to celebrate. All I ask of you is that you know what it is you are celebrating and why you're celebrating it. The light you carry must be worth the fight against Grendel because be it this year or next, 10 years ago or 10 years hence, he will show up, your songs and laughter ringing in his ears. Be ready. Arm yourself with honor and truth, not just for your sake, but for the sake of those you love. This is Bryce Jury with Excavatus Films. Merry Christmas.